Here is Chief Meteorologist Randy Turner, sponsored by Schleicher County Medical Center. Today, the San Angelo National Weather Service released their preliminary survey on the two tornadoes that happened back on May 3rd in Coke County. Now, the one on your map is the one near Silver, Texas, northwest of Robert Lee. They rated it an EF2. It happened between 3.40 and 3.55 p.m., stayed on the ground for four and a half miles, was 125 mile per hour winds and 125 yards wide. So this one near Silver had the higher rating. The one closer to Robert Lee had an EF1 one rating of 110 mile per hour winds, but the one near Robert Lee just southwest of town was seven football fields wide, 700 yards wide. So this one was the larger one, but this one had the more impact, did more damage, hit more things. All right, weather headlines clear and nice tonight. Temperature is going to be pleasant, mostly sunny tomorrow, but there could be an isolated late afternoon thunderstorm. Storms more likely Wednesday night and Thursday. Weather a bit unsettled, but not today. It is nice as can be outside down in the hill country at Kerrville. A thunderstorm has popped up. And here's where most of the activity is. Lots of hail damage and wind damage across southeast Texas today, not to mention the very heavy rainfall. And we've got big thunderstorms firing up down in the Rio Grande Valley. But back here in the Concho Valley, just nice, pleasant temperatures. Again today, 88, the high temperature in San Angelo, exactly the average for today's date. Junction 93, Ozona has top 90 degrees, but everybody else pretty well in the middle 80s. Uh, we'll move on and uh, talk about... I don't know why that is in there or why this com weather computer decides it doesn't want to work. Okay, <laughs> I'll make it work one way or another. Let's look at the upper level wind pattern because right now things are just kind of flat here across the uh, state of Texas. But as we get to Thursday, we're going to have this area of low pressure, this dip in the jet stream back out to the southwest. We've seen it time and time again this spring. So the upper level winds are going to be a little bit higher and that creates instability in the atmosphere. So Wednesday night, Thursday, and Thursday night into Friday morning, because of this system passing through, we'll have better chance of thunderstorms. Then we get to this weekend, and this dome of high pressure sits on top of us. That will calm the weather down some, allow the temperatures to go up just a little bit as well. Look ahead, future cast. Not too much happening tonight, not too much happening during the day tomorrow until we get to tomorrow afternoon. The dry line could kick off some showers and thunderstorms from San Angelo northward, mainly across our northern Concho Valley counties and then pushing out of the area. As we get to Wednesday, skies are cloudy once again. For tonight, 58 for a low temperature, mostly clear and pleasant with that light south breeze out there. And then for tomorrow, 93 for a high, 10% rain chance late day, but mostly sunny throughout the majority of the day and the wind not too bad. But well, the wind's gonna pick up Wednesday, 91, 40% chance of late day storms. And then Thursday, 40% chance of storms. We heat up this weekend into early next week.